I just pull her out and she gets the job done. Clean girl, it girl, that girl, hot girl, summer. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing today. In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about my spring and summer must have essentials across beauty, skincare, accessories, just like all the things to really have like a hot girl summer, an it girl summer, whatever it is that you wanna call it. You know, you can define it on your own terms, but ultimately these are just all the things that I need to live my best life during the summer. So if you're interested, then let's get into the video. All right, starting out with beauty products. I don't have a ton of beauty products that I would consider to be like spring, summer, warm weather staples, but there are a couple that I just like have to have during the summer. The first being tinted moisturizer, just because like I'm not really interested in like sweating my makeup off, you know what I'm saying? So I opt for a tinted moisturizer just because it's a lot lighter on the skin. It just makes your skin look more glowy, more refreshed, less matte. So there are two in particular that I personally really love and are like my go-tos. The first one is this Ami Cole. A lot of y'all actually told me to try this one out when I was looking for a new tinted moisturizer. And I must say that I actually really, really, really like it. I am in the color Deep One. I think they have, I don't know, maybe like four or five shades. I actually don't near, I could be completely wrong on that. This one will have your skin very glowy. I will say that, I mean, it'll, look borderline oily, but honestly, I feel like that's very much the vibe and the look of summer. So I think it works. And then this is my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This one is oil-free because I do tend to have pretty oily skin, um, just like year round, but especially in warmer months. I have been using this for years. I, as you can see, this is a brand new box because I literally just had to re-up on it. And I am in the shade Mocha. This does have an SPF 20 sunscreen in it. To be completely honest, I don't really care one way or another about makeup having sunscreen in it, just because I use a sunscreen like an actual SPF sunscreen, so I don't need added protection through like a tinted moisturizer or a foundation or anything like that. But in case you do, this does have SPF in it and I actually have this on my skin right now. I don't have foundation. I literally just have the tinted moisturizer on and yeah, I love this stuff love this stuff and then i also love a good rosy pinky cheek in the summer and springtime i don't know what it is about warmer months that i just think a pink blush is just so nice it's so playful it's so bright it adds a bit of color to your skin and yeah i don't know i just love a good pinky like rosy colored blush during the summertime. And my favorite right now is the Rare Beauty blush. This is in the color Lucky. And I actually have this on my skin right now. I have it as a blush, but then I also have it on my eyes as like an eyeshadow. And in the bottle, <laughs> this stuff, look. And even when you put it on your skin at first, it's pink, pink, baby, it's pink, pink but then as you rub it in it does sort of just like melt into your skin and just start to look a lot more natural it just brightens the skin brightens the face adds a bit of playfulness and yeah this is like a go-to whenever i'm wearing makeup in the spring and summer all right so that's it for beauty and now let's get into skincare which is always like my favorite category first and foremost sunscreen believe it or not i still have friends and family who believe that black folks don't need sunscreen. I, I feel like we have moved beyond that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we should all collectively move beyond that. We need sunscreen, like daily, especially on your face. So sunscreen is a must have for me, both on my face, but then also on my body as well. So when it comes to facial sunscreens, there are two that I really, really, really like and have been staples for me over the years. And it is these two right here. The logo has rubbed off. Um, but this is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. And this is a really, really good sunscreen because it does not leave a single bit of a white cast. It is literally 
clear on darker skin. It's also matte, so if you have oily skin, this is very good for you if you wanna get rid of some of that oil because it definitely will mattify your face. The only thing that I'm not a huge fan of with this is the fact that it is a chemical sunscreen. And because I do struggle with acne and hyperpigmentation and I do have a lot of dark marks on my skin, a physical sunscreen is typically better for like hyperpigmentation and acne prone skin. However, on days, if I'm not wearing makeup and I'm just like going with a fresh face, I wanna mattify a little bit and I don't want an inkling of a white cast, I will still use this, but I will say I use it a lot more sparingly than I do with this sunscreen, which is literally my staple sunscreen year round. And this is the Elta MD Skincare UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. Let's say that real fast. So if you're acne prone and you deal with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, baby, this the one. I will say like a dermatologist recommended this to me probably back when I was like 12 or 13. I've been using it ever since because every dermatologist I go to, this is the sunscreen that they all recommend. It does leave a very, 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 very slight white cast, but if you rub it in well enough, Honestly, it's barely noticeable. And then for body sunscreen, this is my go-to. I have the family size of this because I don't play when it comes to my body sunscreen. This is the Banana Boat Sport Ultra 50 Plus Broad Spectrum F SPF. So this one I really like because it is in a spray form. I know there are a lot of like lotion sunscreens, oil sunscreens. I know Supergoop even has a really good oil sunscreen, but I personally just prefer to spray it on. You know, I don't wanna have to lotion and then on top of that oil and then on top of that apply my SPF. Like, I ain't got time. I just wanna lotion and oil, then I wanna spray on my SPF. And when I tell y'all, this stuff makes you look so glowy. <laughs> It like, it adds a nice shine and sheen to my body as well that I absolutely love just for that summertime, just for that glow. This stuff right here is really, really, really good. If you know me, you know that I love a good thick cream when it comes to my lotion and just like lotioning my whole body. However, in the spring and summer, when it's hot, when I'm sweating, when the sun is out, I'm not trying to like feel that nasty sticky feeling of really thick lotion or like a really thick cream on my skin because I do tend to sweat pretty easily or just like perspire pretty easily. So I like a lotion that is a bit more thin in consistency, but something that still equally hydrates, which is why I love the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. Of course, we all know hyaluronic acid is extremely moisturizing and really helps to just like lock moisture into your skin. So that's why I really like this. Like the name says, it is a gel-like consistency. So it's not a super thick cream or lotion or anything like that. It's just like a lightweight gel. So while the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel really moisturizes and like hydrates my skin, it doesn't necessarily leave my skin looking extremely glowy like I like. So there are two products in specifically that are my go-tos when it comes to just creating that nice, natural, glowing skin. The first one is just pure almond oil. I don't know why almond oil is not talked about more for your skin because when I tell y'all I am obsessed with almond oil when it comes to my skin, number one, it just adds a beautiful glow to my skin and just like that really supple shine, if you will. But in addition to that, it also has some other benefits as well. It does act as a natural SPF. And then also if you struggle with back acne or chest acne or just like any kind of body acne, Almond oil really helps with that as well. I used to have really, really bad chest acne and I started using almond oil on my chest along with like a couple other things as well. And it literally got rid of my body acne. So typically I'll just take some of that Neutrogena body gel and I'll just like add a couple drops of this in there and I'll just like rub it all over my body and my body is nice 
It's moisturized, it's supple, it's hydrated, but then it's also shiny and glowy as well. And then next is this Tom Ford Body Shimmering Oil. When I say I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, like actually obsessed with this. It has these like little specks of body glitter, body shimmer, whatever it is that you wanna call it. So in addition to it just being an oil and just like providing that glow, it adds an element of a shimmer as well to where you, like when you go like this in the sunshine, in the sunlight, baby, you will literally look like gold. The thing about spring and summer and just like warmer months is baby, you're likely gonna be sweaty. It's just, it is what it is. When we're hot, we perspire. That's just the human body. So on days where I need a little help in that department and I need just like a little extra boost, my go-to deodorant is my Dove Dry Spray. And first off, whoever invented the dry spray form or like formula, whatever you wanna call it, shout out to you because I mean, I don't know, I just really love a good spray deodorant. This Caring Coconut scent, <laughs> it smells like coconut cream and like shea butter or something some sort of like body butter. It just smells very tropical and it just gives summer vibes. It gives spring vibes. It gives warm weather vibes, you know what I'm saying? And then I also love a good perfume or fragrance in the summertime to keep me smelling fresh, but not just any perfume. I really gravitate towards like more lightweight, fresh, clean, like, I don't like, I can't really explain it, just like really fresh perfumes and fragrances. So these are literally the fragrances that stay in rotation that I am keeping in rotation this summer. The first one is this Glossier U. I feel like I was so late to the game with this. They've had this for eons. And as soon as I smelled it, I was just very confused as to why I had never bought it before. But it smells so good. I can't really, explain it. I am not the best when it comes to explaining fragrances. So I'm not even going to try. I've, I've, I've tried to do it before. I feel like it, it just be words coming out my mouth. You know what I'm saying? However, this stuff smells so good and so grown. Like this is the perfect mix of like a sweet, but grown mature fragrance. It is supposed to adjust the way it smells based on the chemistry of your body, um, but the way it smells on me, I love it. Can't get enough of it. Next is my Byredo Gypsy Water. Probably my favorite fragrance that I own in my full perfume collection. Oh, it smells so good. Y'all. First off, if you've never smelled Byredo Gypsy Water, baby, you missing out. You're missing out. I can't, look, I need to close this bottle because if not, I will literally sit here and smell this for the next 10 minutes straight. Like the name says, it smells like really, really good smelling water. And I know that makes no sense at all, but I feel like it also makes a lot of sense. Like if you took a really nice warm perfume, but then you like infused it with H2O or just like the feel of H2O. Y'all, look, this is why I don't explain, explain fragrances. Literally the best like clean girl, it girl, that girl, hot girl, summer, whatever it is you wanna call it, fragrance. The girl who doesn't try, but she just has it, this is that. And then last but not least is my signature vacation fragrance. This is literally my go-to. I typically reserve this only for when I'm going on holiday. And this is the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. Like this for me is vacation in a bottle. It smells like a really good smelling hotel that is beachfront. I can just sniff this and close my eyes and just like mentally transport to somebody's beach and be on vacation. And my last category of summer must-haves are just like random accessories that I have just like accumulated over the years that have just become my staple summer accessory must-haves. The first one being my portable fan. So I picked up this fan off of Amazon. 
and not only do I use this whenever I'm going to hot tropical places like I use this in Atlanta I keep this in my purse and if I feel too hot and if I feel an inkling of of sweat dripping down my brow I just pull her out I just pull her out and she gets the job done. No, but seriously, if you live somewhere really hot or you vacation to very hot places, get you a portable fan. Like, and not one of those fans, like an electrical portable fan. And it is a lifesaver. It is a game changer. I also have to have a pair of sunglasses with me during spring and summer just because the sun be out. These are a brand called Carrera, I wanna say. I found these in Saks and I had never heard of the brand before, but I tried them on and I was like, these cute. So yeah, these are like my go-to, just like normal everyday sunglasses for this summer. I feel like every summer I get a new pair of like just staple, simple aviator-esque sunglasses to wear throughout the summer. And yeah, these are the ones that I bought for this summer. I don't know, I really like them. So yes, a good pair of everyday, simple, minimal, goes with every outfit type of sunglass, must have for me. And then last but not least is this girl right here. This is my Yeti and she keeps me hydrated from the inside out. I really like the Yeti because it keeps my ice frozen throughout the day. I don't know what the technology is, but it basically like insulates the temperature. So if I have water in here, the water doesn't get warm, my ice doesn't melt, like it will melt over time. I know a lot of people are talking about the Stanley Cup. Somebody let me know in the comments, is it worth it? Is it better than a Yeti? Like what is, I'm not understanding the hype around the Stanley Cup, but can somebody please help me understand, do I need to replace this with a Stanley Cup? Somebody let me know. I like really wanna know. So that is it for my spring and summer must have staples. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you got this far in the video and you haven't subscribed, I, I don't understand why, but I'm gonna need you to like join our family because we have fun over here. So hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.